We got a lot to talk about today, boys. This video is not clickbait. The, the title of the thumbnail is true. I know it's a shock. I know it's a surprise. We're pretty much selling everything. Like, fire sell everything. Everything's going, except, of course, I mean, the event. We're not, we're not selling the event today. Everything else, though, is being sold. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we're not selling quite everything, but pretty much everything. I clickbaited you guys by just the smidge of his smidge. Uh, the Gallardo's being twin turboed off at B-Rogue built. I'm never gonna sell that car. The Gladiator is legit cut in half. It's being converted to a six by six. We're not selling that. Uh, 430 challenge, we're not selling that, but everything else is for sale. Oh, the Toyota Supra, the Focus RS. I know I just bought the C8 Corvette, but yes, it's for sale. And I can't believe I'm gonna say this, my beloved Ford GT. Boys, it's, it's for sale. I'm not going bankrupt. This is not some financial decision that I have to make, but sometimes in life, crazy opportunities present themselves and you have to sell your Ford GT. None of these cars are financed. They've all been paid off in cash. Oh, this guy uses his Shelby as a bookshelf. I know I just got the white Vossens and they look amazing, but... We're headed off to Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. Also, the Rolls Royce limo, it's for sale too, because why not? If anybody's willing to take it, please, please take it off our hands. I have 5,662 miles on my Sia Corvette. It might be the second or third highest mileage in the entire world, but there's a problem. It sounds like a Dyson vacuum cleaner. I can see you guys typing away. Just get an exhaust. The problem though, is that every single other YouTuber has filmed a C8 Corvette exhaust video and therein lies the problem. Not only is YouTube my full-time job, but it's a really creative outlet for me. And I take a lot of satisfaction in doing like unique, cool content that has never been seen on the interwebs. Like my Gladiator 6x6, it's not gonna be a world's first Gladiator 6x6, but for automotive YouTube, it should be, I'm pretty sure. Whereas the C8 Corvette, it's just become so ubiquitous. That's right, ubiquitous. Everybody has one. Uh, Daily Driven Exotics, Amelia, Chevy Dude, TJ, Street Speed, Cletus is getting one. Like, it's just become overly redundant and everybody's doing the same thing. Wide body, twin turbo. I just like, I'm bored of watching my own videos. I'm sure you guys are too. I'm not trying to knock down any other automotive YouTuber. Everybody I mentioned I'm good friends with and their videos are awesome and I love what they're doing and I cannot wait to see what they're doing, but I'd rather just take the money I have invested in the CA Corvette, buy something else and do some other crazy project. Here lies my second point. We've arrived here to Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet because they have a CA Corvette for sale. Whenever I come to a car dealership, I always get a little bit of stage fright because it's so quiet in the showroom and I'm talking to a camera and being overly obnoxious. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna tone it down down. There was a bunch of copyright music playing inside the showroom, so yeah, we, we couldn't even film whatsoever. Also, I got the newer low-profile Michelins. Looks so good with those white Vossens. We were gonna talk about this in the showroom, but the music killed that dream. They're asking 50,000 over sticker, 139 grand. Now it is brand new. It has one mile on the odometer. It's a fully spec car, three LT. It's got every single option imaginable but 50 grand over. What if we could get 25 over? Because I have 5,678 miles. I think this is the only new C8 Corvette for sale in Salt Lake City, other than of course my car. Whoa, 50,000 over. Now just because they're asking that doesn't mean they're gonna get it, but 25,000 over is not a bad day. Now of course dealerships get new cars like the C8 Corvette all the time. It's hot, it's popular, and they put it on their showroom floor, they mark it way up with no intentions of selling it because they get a bunch of foot traffic, those people buy other cars, yada, yada, yada. Maybe some wacko will pay 50,000 over, but honestly, like, they, they really have no intention of selling it for that price. But, but, if I could get 25,000 over, that's a pretty good day. That's a great day. That's an amazing day. I truly do love this C8 Corvette. It is so fast. This, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. There's some very, very basic research, but C8 Corvettes are all trading. So this is like the most expensive one, it just happens to be in Salt Lake City, but they're all trading for like a hundred to $120,000. My car is fully spec. It does have a lot of mileage, but I don't know also, Welcome to Four Horsemen Racing. The Corvette and the Supra look so good next to each other. The purple and white wheels, the Corvette is riding way, way high. I'm, I'm, st I'm starting to get second thoughts. This Supra just looks like a Hot Wheels car, but at the same time, like, it's fully built. I think Josh might buy it. You gonna buy it, Josh? Yes? 
Maybe. Okay, I guess the Supra sold. We, we were talking off camera and he wasn't going to buy it, but on camera, I guess the pressure got to him. The core, oh, they look so good. I don't know, guys. So, yes, I am selling the Supra. You guys might remember this is a launch edition, number 304 to 1500. This car sat center stage at SEMA. I put like $30,000 into this car. Obviously, mods, you don't get everything in return, but you get some, I think, maybe. I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to sell all these cars. I think that you guys can just send me an email to the stradman at hotmail.com. I'm going to start the bidding on the Supra at $70,000. Now I paid 67 for this, which is $10,000 over, but like I said, I put $30,000 worth of mods into the car. Center stage SEMA, kind of sort of cool. No, maybe, maybe. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in buying any of my cars, the Stradman at hotmail.com, I would prefer to sell it to somebody here in Utah. Ideally do some type of sales tax uh, trade, but yeah, anyways. Josh just made an excellent point. We should start it up. When I tossed you that key, I was sure you were gonna drop it and the value on my car was gonna be destroyed. So this has the frequency intelligent exhaust. It's very, very loud and sounds quite, quite good. We probably don't need this anymore. Oh. Is it in sport mode? It's in mode this. Center, console, sport, sport. second thoughts also this warehouse like the exhaust sound just reverberates through your soul i need a warehouse just for rubbing i need a warehouse i see that smug smile you buying this Seventy thousand. take it or leave it what do i get in return if i buy it you get the car Oh, yeah, okay, my voice just squeaked right there. <laughs> we got the white skull wheels. You got the pandem wide body kit. This thing, I don't know if I want to sell it, dude. It's so sick, but... If I buy it, then, then you can drive it whenever. Oh, done. In summary, we're going to start the bidding at 70000 for the Supra. The CA Corvette, it's a little bit different. If you want the white Voss and wheels, we start the bidding at 115. If you want the stock wheels, we start at 110. I think the Vossens look amazing, but at the same time... If you don't want them, I, I, I understand. Well, eventually when I sell the C8 and the Supra, maybe I get a Viper ACR, whoa. I have so many second thoughts floating around my head after seeing the Supra, but it makes sense. Like, I wish I could tell you guys what my plan is, but we need to sell some cars first because I don't want to hype up my plan and then not sell cars. And then everyone's like, I thought you were going to do that. I thought you were going to buy this Koenigsegg. I'm not buying a Koenigsegg. That was a joke. That was a 100% joke. I am not buying a Koenigsegg. I just, I thought it'd be funny. So anyways. And in doubt, launch it out. Go. This car is so quick. I'm going to miss it so much. That was 3.6 seconds. Bear in mind, we're in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're at elevation, so we're not in Florida. We're at like four or 5,000 feet up. 3.6 is insane. If today's video gets 100,000 likes, I will bury the Rolls Royce limo in the backyard. That's right. Please, please smash that like button. I want to bury that limo so bad. Burlacker's out of town. It would just be such a nice... Uh, Warm welcome return for him to come home with that in the backyard. If there is somebody who wants to buy the Corvette and the Supra in tandem, it would be so cool to keep them together as a pair. And I would offer a discount. I'd love to sell the cars to somebody locally here in the state of Utah so that I can see them someday because I get emotionally attached to my cars, especially the Supra, taking that to SEMA, everything we've been through. The Corvette I've only had for two months, but now that it's purple with white wheels, I mean, come on, it looks amazing. So the Focus RS, I've talked a lot about selling this car. It is finally time to actually take action and sell this car. I want to replace it with either a Raptor or a Ford F-350 or a 450 because a Raptor, as cool as it is, you can't really tow. I mean, you can tow with it, but you shouldn't tow with it if you do. It's got, it's got a little baby V6. You're going to blow it up. So I'm trying to decide. Raptor or F-450? Swapping that out for the Focus RS, hmm. Yes, I am listing these four cars for sale, but I want to present a couple different scenarios for you guys. Let's say I sold my Supra and my C8 Corvette and my Focus RS tomorrow, I probably would keep the Ford GT. But let's say I sold the Ford GT tomorrow, I'd probably still sell the Focus. I might sell the Supra and maybe I'd keep the Corvette. Or maybe I'd keep the Supra and I'd sell the C8 Corvette. Or maybe, I, I'm just saying like, I'm probably not gonna end up selling all four of the cars. However, if I do sell the Ford GT, the Ford GT is worth a lot more than the other three cars, and it is very nice down payment for a hyper. Surprise, it's a new day. The Rolls Royce is still parked there. We're headed to the Ford dealer. We have 16,000 miles on the Focus RS. <laughs> Oh, I do love this car, but Oscar hates it. It's a beautiful day here in Utah, 
but it snowed in the mountains at the end of May. Come on, Utah. Like, like I said, th th don't ever move here. It snows in May. I love my Focus RS. This car is so much fun. It's like a little go-kart, but unfortunately, Oscar, my puppy, he hates it. Like, he hates it so much. And so a truck would be so much more reasonable for him. We were gonna get the Tesla Model Y, but 75 grand for something that it's not very good looking. I know, Tesla fanboys, I'm sorry. It's just not, it looks like a jelly bean, it does. Imagine this F-350 towing the event, and then of course someday obviously we're gonna lift it, put it on 40s, maybe convert it to a six by six dually. I'm just kidding, I am just kidding. We're not doing a dually six, of course. A dually six by six would be incredible. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like the F-350 or the Raptor? Let me know below. As much as I love to picture myself Baja racing my Raptor and jumping it every single weekend, realistically that's not gonna happen. Whereas towing supercars, like that is so much more practical, but a Raptor's so much cooler. I don't know what it is about the Raptor. I don't know if it's great marketing. It's just cool and I want it, but a 450, a 350 makes so much more sense. In quick summary, I'm selling the C8, the 4GT, the Focus RS, and the 2020 Toyota Supra. The C8 Corvette, 100 $15,000. The 4GT, I'm looking for 250 grand. This has an FI aftermarket exhaust. This is probably maybe the cheapest, maybe the second cheapest 4GT in the nation. The Focus RS, we're looking for a cool $32,000. This car has a bunch of mounting accessories, the aftermarket boiler exhaust, the Rogue Performance downpipe. I know I said I wasn't going to sell the Aventador, but after some reconsideration, I just, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, we're definitely not going to be selling the Aventador anytime soon. If you guys are interested in any of these cars or the Supra, send me an email, the Stradman at hotmail.com. Uh, everything is not really particularly 50% off, but anyways, the, the Rolls Royce, the Rolls Royce is 50% off. Actually, honestly, I'm just kidding. It's not free. Uh, but if you do want to buy the Rolls Royce limo, the Burlacker doesn't know that I'm offering it for sale, but if you do want to buy it, send them an email. I know a lot of you guys are wondering why am I trying to sell these cars? I love these cars. You guys love these cars, but trust me, what is on the horizon is going to be absolutely out of this world. Never done before in the history of auto. Well, that's not really true, but kind of sort of true. We have some crazy, crazy plans in the works. Like I said, more than likely, I will not sell all four cars. If the Corvette sells, if the Super sells, maybe I can keep the four GT. If the four GT sells, maybe I sell some of the other cars. Anyways, I don't really know what's going to happen but all four cars are for sale. I really don't want to sell the Ford GT, but 250 grand, like I said, anyways, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did like squad, be sure to smash that like button, but just like that, this vlog is over and I'm out.